You're probably having a hard time finding a dishwasher. The best dishwasher in many instances is the one you can actually buy. COVID-19, component issues, factory issues, and port issues were all part of a supply chain in ruins. Many companies will not have dishwashers sometime until 2023 or even later. The only available Miele dishwasher is their pro line starting at $4,250. Bosch will not accept new orders on their most popular dishwashers for over a year. You probably don't want to have to spend $4,200 on a dishwasher. You probably shouldn't. However, you can find a few good dishwashers if you know where to look. In this video, you learn about the best in-stock dishwashers between $599 and $4,250. You also learn about the best features, problems, and reliability. Let's get started. Beko is a huge appliance manufacturer based out of Turkey. They're well known in Europe for their clean styling. You may know Blomberg is a subsidiary of Beko. Beko also manufactures the Viking dishwashers. Beko produces an excellent dishwasher for under $600. At one time, you had a compromise when you bought a dishwasher at this price. So if you recycles, the tub was plastic or hybrid of plastic and steel were also allowed. Beko is an exception with decent cycles and an all stainless tub. The quietness isn't horrendous at 48 decibels. It's only four decibels louder than what's considered quiet. However, you will be able to hear this dishwasher running in an open kitchen. You also have five cycles and options soil sensor plus an adjustable rack. Reliability rate is excellent as well. Although the first year reliability is good, you have to make sure Beko can be fixed in your area. Additionally, there's no cycle for delicates in this dishwasher. LG is now the most reliable brand according to over 40,000 service calls logged by our service department just last year. LG's 1.7% service rate is unbelievably low and way lower than the average for dishwashers over 12%. This dishwasher has tons of features, adjustable racks, and Wi-Fi capability along with the 44 decibel quietness. They also offer steam as a unique feature with steam generators in the front of the dishwasher. Steam helps lift tough baked on food so you don't have to rewash your dishes. You also have less water spots in the drying cycle using the steam. If you want a hassle-free dishwasher, you may want to consider the LG. However, the racks are a bit shallower than some of the others. G redesigned the profile dishwasher for 2022 and went back to the drawing board. Their successful odor, mold, and moisture prevention package in their laundry was added to this new line of dishwashers. They now feature the microband antimicrobial surfaces even on the outside handle, as well as a fan to dry moisture inside. Their washing system has special sprays for silverware and bottles. The drying has also been improved with a fan to remove excess moisture and speed drying even in plastics. For quiet, which is important if your kitchen is open to your living space, G profiles 42 decibels, far below the standards. However, unlike every other dishwasher we're about to compare, G's quiet with a soft food disposer instead of a filter you have to clean. It's hard to know the drawbacks because this is so new. It won't look good with a cabinet front because it protrudes and doesn't sit seamlessly. Beko is one of the fastest growing brands, probably because Beko has been available, whereas most have not. Not to mention, this dishwasher is loaded with features. The new Beko's wash arms don't spin on a fixed axis, so they spray in a square pattern like the shape of your dishwasher covering more area. They call it a corner intense. The aqua intense cycle channels up to 60% of the water on the bottom for baked on dishes, leaving a light wash for china crystal on the top. Like Profile, Beko has three dedicated bottle washes. Their iron guard eliminates odors by sending negatively charged ions to counteract the positive ions of odors. Racking is good as well. Top rack is multi-position and the third silverware rack up top. Bottom folds down to fit larger dishes, giving you more capacity. Beko also uses a quieter inverter motor for a 39 decibel rating. All the others, including Beko, do have filters that you have to clean, but Beko has a water jet to their filter, meaning you clean theirs a lot less than the others. Lastly, you may be more comfortable with familiar brands. In case of availability issues, and there will be some, Beko's an excellent alternative, and it's also statistically reliable.
buying a panel-ready dishwasher will be an issue for at least the next 12 months. Bosch operates at 50% capacity and won't be accepting any new dishwasher orders for over a year, like we said in the beginning. Meal is having issues as well. Neither will consistently offer a panel-ready dishwasher. KitchenAid's panel-ready dishwasher protrudes from the cabinets, won't sit as well as you would expect. Fortunately, it looks like a dishwasher with a panel stuck on it rather than a cabinet. Beko offers all the better features of the DDT39434, such as 39 decibels, aqua intense scouring, good racking, and ion odor control for 1339. Comparably, featured dishwasher about five to a thousand dollars higher. KitchenAid's new dishwasher is worth considering with two filters. There's a larger third rack to accommodate smaller items and silverware. KitchenAid claims four levels, but one is actually just small holes in the third rack. Drying cycle is better in this series and use heat plus outside air to dissipate the moist air into water like a meal. It also meets the minimum quietness standard at 44 decibels. You wonder why their better models are louder. Any KitchenAid with an M has two filters adding the decibels to its sound level. It'd be best if you don't panel any American dishwasher protrudes. It looks like a, as we said, panel stuck on the dishwasher rather than a seamless cabinet. KitchenAid's had some price increases as well, and it's really pricey at $14.49. You may have noticed all the other dishwashers have a single door. This should be called two pull-out drawers. Drawers can be good or bad. You're not bending like you are for the others in the top drawer. You can do a half load with just one drawer. However, drawers load differently than a regular dishwasher, so you may or may not like that. Still, Fisher Pickle is worth consideration for a unique product. With a 45 decibel silence rating, you'll hear Fisher Pickle dishwash faintly. They'll question this dishwasher is the best you can buy. Then again, it should be. You're looking at the only meal of dishwasher available. Their new and improved and worthwhile G5000 and G7000 series released last year are still not available. This dishwasher has many of the best features of their best G7000 plus one key difference. Drying is their best clean drying system with two ports at the bottom, allowing air to the inside of the dishwasher. Warmer air is attracted to the colder and dissipated as water. The dishwasher also pops open at the end of the cycle to release heat and moisture. The racks are also excellent with their adjustable third rack on the top. Baskets fold down as well to accommodate old, odd-shaped platters. You have faster cycles, the ability to wash and dry a load in 52 minutes versus 59 in the regular. And it also has five-year warranty and Wi-Fi capabilities. And lastly, this dishwasher has one key feature separated from the others. It can heat to 180 degrees and sanitize the NSF standards without a separate booster. In other words, the PFD 104 SCVI has the same sterilizing cleaning capabilities as the restaurant dishwashers. However, the price is high at $42.50. It depends on what you're looking for and what's available. The good news is you have options, just not in Bosch or Milo. Many of the lesser known brands produce very good dishwashers. Profiles mold protection, 42 decibel quietness with a grinder, and bottle and silverware washes. Becco's 39 decibels, separate sprays and cycles for baked on dishes, and LG is off the charts reliable with decent cycles and steam. All are good options. Instead of that G7000 meal at $14.99 to $29.99, buying a quieter profile or Becco model for less might not be all that bad, at least for now. What do you think? Would you buy a Becco profile or LG? Click the link to download our free dishwasher buying guide. Unfortunately, we all know someone who's been talked to into buying the wrong appliance. Don't let that happen to you. Almost 1 million people have found the right answers on the Yale Guide. And thanks for watching.